Can you just look at that sandwich? Look at that cheese bread. Oh my god. I'm so excited. Oh yeah, that's the bread. Yeah, I'm not very nice to this bag. <laughs> like just pitch it around. Yeah. I think that was the idea before I did a review. I wanted to make sure that it would uh, withstand some nastiness, you know? So here's the thing with the thing. I have been uh, vlogging on and off for a long time and we've been making a lot of different kinds of content on this channel for a little while now. And I know that you guys have done a couple of polls with me to kind of figure out what kind of content you actually wanna see on this channel. But yeah, when I polled you guys on Instagram, I was like, hey, what do you like to see more? Studio vlogs or mermaid lifestyle vlogs? Because I've really been changing my kind of content on Instagram and we've been doing a lot more of this, the mentality of mermaiding as opposed to just the, the physical like visual side of mermaiding and it's something that we've been talking about a lot in the mentorship group as well and i kind of want to bring that theme over here a little bit but i need your feedback gotta let me know this is also the result of letting my hair be like its natural self now because we've just given up i've just given up trying to have straight hair so can we also just comment on the fact that if you'd asked me seven or eight years ago if I would ever sit down on camera looking like this? <laughs> we all look like this at some point in the day. I cannot stand vlogs where they fake vlog. They like wake up in the morning, put on their makeup, then get back into bed and then start vlogging. And it's like, you did not just wake up with a full face of makeup. You did not do that. That's a lie. That's total bull. I try to be real for you guys. So this is the one that I want to wear because look how it's going to sit. That's too perfect. It's like I planned this. We're here, Eric and and me and Zelda. Ah! Shade. Our Eric's just getting changed because he's gonna go and enjoy the hot tub for a little bit to work on his back. Poor guy's got a really sore back. And then Zelda's looking for some spray uh, sunscreen. And I've got my tail. I've got my tail out over there. There's some kids who sound like they're having a really good time or possibly a really bad time. I don't know. I figured it out. I figured out why Ripple's Relics is pure and complete magic. It's because I feel like mermaid freaking royalty when I wear her stuff. So much so that I literally, I go and buy bathing suits that actually accentuate the, the lines so that I could, I would never wear this without one. Like, come on, man. So yeah, I've got a link to Ripple in uh, the description box down below. Highly, highly recommend you check her out. I love her work so much. And she does full custom pieces. So if you're like, Courtney, the blue's not gonna work. Obviously, this was made just for me. So you can actually, she'll match like whatever tail you've got. And she'll do an amazing job of it as well. So now I'm just gonna get the rest of my stuff kind of sorted and organized so I can hop into my tail. And I'm really excited. I, I, I feel like I need a swim today. It's gonna be really good.
<laughs> I've got it on video. You'll oh, see later. Good. Okay, guys. I'm taking a little break, but I'm going to try out my new my new goggles now. So. kidding me with how cute bird seriously bird oh jeez oh bye birds gone Are you a little bit stressed? Are you a little bit stressed? Are you happy that we're home? Oh, eat my pants, why don't you? Did you just try to eat my pants? I should take my shoes off. <laughs> I should take my shoes off. All right, my fishes, so I am back from my swim and my hangout with Mermaid Zelda and Eric came along um, so that he could soak his shoulder. He's got a frozen shoulder. So he soaked that in the hot tub and it felt really good, he said. So I'm really glad that that was able to happen. Huge shout out and thank you to Mermaid Zelda for being amazing letting my man sit in your hot tub. Now, the goggles were also absolutely fantastic. They really blocked out the sun, which was really good, so I didn't get a sun headache, which I usually get when I swim outside on bright days, which kind of sucks. It also left pressure here as opposed to inside my eye, which was really nice, but these were really amazing, and I will link those down in the description box down below for you guys as well to check out, because you know what? Mermaids should be allowed to wear goggles, and after uh, a good half an hour of swimming, I was like, you know, my eyes are tired, but I still want to swim around and have some fun and film my friend. Then I just threw on the goggles and I was good to go. But yeah, that's really all that I have to say. So I want to thank you guys so much for coming along uh, with me on today's adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the pod and the bell notification as well so you never miss an upload. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I look forward to catching you all again in my next video. Happy swimming. Bye. Hey, were you licking the whole time? Were you licking your feet the whole time? Are you pounded? Oh, thank you. Oh, you're a good boy.